Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for whenever it resonates. We're just going to see what comes up. This is my second one. I got one downloading now, but it seemed like it was a little rushed, so I figured I would do another one. What do we have for an upcoming message? What do we have? Temperance. Temperance. Now, temperance is a card of timing. You've learned some sort of lesson. Um, something has ended. Something has changed. There's been a profound life change. Okay? Now, it's uh, time to accept and allow this change. Um, yeah, there's a need to be grounded, but there's also a need to be fluid, you know, to, you know, accept reality and move forward. So... Um, it's time. It's time for something. Um, this is an exchange as well. So somebody will be making a big exchange, um, exchanging something for something better. Okay, something better is coming. This card comes after the death card. Okay, so this is about managing your feelings, um, accepting the change that has happened. A need to be patient. Everything happens for a purpose. Realizing that everything happens for a purpose. There could also be a reconciliation that is coming. It's time. This is a card of divine timing. It's time. It's time. Okay? It's time. It's time for a renewal. Okay? Um, you may need to find some self-discipline. Okay, this is finding the self-discipline to change after something has ended. Okay, so it's a time of change and something good is coming. Something happened. It happened for a reason. Now you're going to get something better. Okay. Two of Cups reversed. Has to do with a partnership. Okay, has to do with a relationship or a partnership of some sort. Um, there's been, There was disharmony. There was a disconnection. There were two people that... We're on the same page, okay? There was an imbalance. There was uh, an argument or a separation. Or there's going to be, okay? This is, this is um, losing friendships, uh, unable to see eye to eye. This is like a separation. Everything happens for a reason, though. Everything happens for a reason. So maybe that's what ended. Something has ended. But it happened, okay? It happened because there's something better. There's a reason. Temperance is a card of reason. And acceptance. Accept that this happened for a reason and that this partnership is over. The sun. Could be dealing with a Leo. Doesn't have to be. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be. Okay? This is an unhappy situation. There's no growth. There's no fertility. There's depression. There's... There's... Um, Poor logic here. Somebody that is, refuses to be honest with themselves. And this could be a broken marriage, a broken commitment. And, and there's some sort of unhappy partnership here. And, it, and this is a card of evolving. We evolve over time. So somebody has evolved out of a partnership that doesn't make them happy anymore. This is unhealthy, unhealthy partnership. Ten of Pentacles, but probably staying for the security, for the money. Okay, the Ten of Pentacles could be somebody because this is like these these both can symbolize marriage. Somebody may have married just for money, or they may have stayed in a situation for the security of it. But there's an opportunity for extreme happiness, for extreme abundance with the Ten of Pentacles. If you can allow and accept change. Okay, you have to allow and accept change. Don't fight it. Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is about generosity. It's about give and take. Some of you may be coming into some money. Okay? You may be coming into some money. You may be getting a gift. 
and in this gift, what, and maybe it's a new partner because there's an exchange up there. Okay, that that temperance card is an exchange. So you could be you be, could be coming together with somebody who does have money, somebody that does have abundance, somebody that is looking for permanence. Or somebody could be getting a gift. They could be getting a gift of money. And this could be from your a family because this could be like a family legacy. So I'm wondering if there's a divorce or there's a split or something where, you know, there's going, you get, somebody's going to get exactly what they deserve because this is, this is getting what you deserve. Reciprocation, uh, getting a payout, getting um, a gift. Okay, there's a gift in this separation. I'm sorry to say that. Everything happens for a reason. Okay? Somebody is going to be receiving something. And it, it's going to uh, bring them balance. It's going to bring them harmony. It's going to be exactly what they deserve. But it's, I have to tell you, it's after some sort of separation. It is. And this could be from a family member or a friend or something like, or even a partner. Okay? There's something. There's some sort of separation here. But it's really a gift. This is a gift. The star reversed. You may somebody may be saying, why? Why? Why is this happening when the star comes out reversed? Why, 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 why? This is not what I asked for. And you know, there's a reason. There is a these are mirroring each other. There is a reason. There's a reason why. You may not understand the reason why, but there is a reason why. This is losing hope, a loss of hope. Um, why is this happening? It's a test of your faith. Why is this happening to me now? Why is it happening now? Somebody, it's happening now because you ha you've evolved. You have to learn. You have to learn your lesson. This, this is a card. The temperance card is a card of a lesson. Somebody has a lesson to learn. They have a lesson to learn. About give and take, about reciprocation, about partnerships. Hmm. Queen of Pentacles reverse. The Queen of Pentacles reverse is not giving anything. She's holding on. She's not going to give a thing. Okay, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse is stubborn. She's stubborn. She. Um, is it going to give any of her money away? She, she may, um, be stingy. <laughs> she may be, she may be stingy. Typically she's very generous, but in the reverse, she's, she's stingy. She's done. Okay. She's absolutely done. She doesn't have anything to give, anything to offer. Um, you could, for some of you, this is a person that doesn't have anything to offer. You may be exchanging one for the other. You could be dealing with somebody. This person has nothing of value to offer. She doesn't have anything. Makes poor financial decisions. Spends money. Doesn't have a good job. Doesn't work. Is lazy. Somebody may be exchanging... Um, Somebody that doesn't have anything of value to add for somebody that does. It takes two. It takes two to build up a strong foundation. Not one. I mean, yeah, one can do it. But if you're in a relationship or a partnership, it takes two. So anyway, we have somebody here that is... is, is uh, feeling hopeless asking why 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 is this happening it may have to do with a job okay maybe you were being partners with somebody in, in your job and you get uh fired somebody could be getting fired um and they could be getting fired because of stubbornness because of um, laziness King of Wands reversed. King of Wands, we had this in the last reading. King of Wands reversed is that egotistical. Could be a boss, could be a father. It could be a husband, a masculine. Okay, we have a King of Wands in reverse. This person is probably mad. 
very mad. And he may be mad because whoever he was uh, dealing with has stopped giving. She's not giving anything. She's not. She's not. So we do have a masculine here that is probably pissed. He's probably, he is. The King of Wands in reverse is mad. He's mad. He's upset. He's angry. He's angry. He's angry that whoever he is dealing with, uh, I don't know, maybe she's just using him for money. That's what it looks like to me. She's using him for money. The Empress reversed. Oh boy. Oh boy. So the Empress reversed is a feminine that doesn't take care of business. Okay. She doesn't take care of business. She is very selfish. She, she is self-centered. She is lazy. She is doesn't have any value. Again, she doesn't have any value. She doesn't take care of herself. She involves herself in affairs. She needs constant attention. Um, she's poor. She doesn't take care of the house very well. She has a poor self-image. She's just a mess. So we, the Empress in Reverse is a feminine that really doesn't have anything of value to add. She really doesn't. She, she's just... Um, She's very needy, put it that way. She doesn't, she can't take care of herself. She's needy. She needs constant attention. She's, she's high maintenance, the Empress in reverse. She doesn't off, she doesn't have anything. She's not abundant. She doesn't have any, any, she can't even take care of herself. She didn't take care of her kids very well. Um, always looking for attention. Involves herself in third party situations with married men. She's just a mess. She's a mess. She's needy. So we have a needy feminine here. Who I think she's being let go. I think she's being let go. I do. I feel like she is. May have been a mother. The mother of one of your children. You know, this feminine may be in the mother of a of somebody's... Obviously, the Empress in Reverse is typically a mother that doesn't... Uh, that isn't a very good mother. Okay? Um, she's not a good mother. She may pretend she's a good mother, but she's not a good mother. So I feel like this woman, um, that is very needy and doesn't know her own value. She lacks self-worth within herself is being, um, exchanged. She's being exchanged for somebody, um, that can bring balance. Somebody that is more, um, put together. Okay, that's what it looks like to me. Somebody that can actually add value. That's what it feels like. I feel like we have this very needy woman who is being let go. Okay, she's being let go. She's nothing. She's nothing of value to add. She doesn't. She doesn't. So I do see a separation. I do definitely see a separation because it's time. It's time for something better. It's, it's time for balance. It's time for equal equality. I mean, because this is balance. And this is balanced, the Six of Pentacles. So it's like, it's, I, I want reciprocation. I want somebody who's going to love me. I want somebody who's going to give equal to me. So I feel like there is a, a feminine that is going to be like, why? Why why, why are you letting me go? Why are you, why? And this, this masculine is probably going to be, because you don't have anything to offer me. I'm looking for something more. You know, I want something more. I want, I want a partnership. I, I, I. I have to. I have to. It's that kind of energy. Um, I want something permanent. I want something long term. I'm looking for abundance, not somebody who doesn't, you know, love me or have anything of value to add. So I do believe that there is going to be an exchange. There's going to be an exchange because I think this masculine is going to get very pissed. I think he's mad. I think he's upset. I think he's upset because he's looking for something more. And so uh, whoever he is dealing with um, is. Um, oh, what's the word for it? The Empress in reverse needs constant. She's high maintenance. She's high, 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 high maintenance. She needs constant attention. She 
is always looking. She's always looking for attention from anybody. And she doesn't care if the person is committed or married or anything like that. As long as she's getting attention, that's all that matters. She's very selfish, very self-centered, the Empress in Reversed. So this, this Empress in Reversed is, is being, uh, feels like she's being let go. And it's probably going to be very emotional. I think she has a hard time mastering her emotions. She's probably goes overboard. She probably does go overboard. And I think that, you know, she probably throws hissy fits. So I think this, this, this woman is being let go. And she's probably, it's probably going to be a very an emotional release. I do think it is. Um, nine of wands reversed. Oh my God. Uh, Hard feelings. There's probably going to be some hard feelings here. Yep, there probably is. This is extremely challenging. But I feel like this masculine is, is ready. I think that he's ready for something better. I think he's ready to face this challenge and let this woman go. Okay, I do. I think he's looking for something more. He wants to give to somebody who can give back. Hmm. It's almost like giving up, okay? He's giving up. He's giving up on her. He's giving up on her because she doesn't love him. She does the Empress in reverse doesn't love. She's not very nurturing. She doesn't nurture him. She doesn't take care of him. She's selfish. So it feels like he's giving up. He's giving up on this partnership. He doesn't even want to be in it anymore. He's looking for something more. So I feel like this masculine is finding the self-discipline to do what he has to do. And if that means letting this person go, which I think he's going to, to a pentacles, this is your change. Making a choice. He wants balance. He wants equal give and take, like I said. He's willing to adapt. So I do believe there is going to be a change. There is absolutely going to be a change. And I think that um, somebody has evolved out of a partnership that no longer makes them happy. It feels like they have uh, realized that whoever they are dealing with, that isn't love and uh, they are letting them go. And I think they're going to be giving to somebody else. They're looking for reciprocation. No doubt about it. They're looking for somebody where there's going to be equal give and take in more, in more ways than one. It feels like they're dealing with somebody who doesn't even have any money either. So, you know, it's like this person may be living in their home or, or using them just for money. So it's like, I, I, you know, it doesn't work that way. Relationships don't work that way. It takes two. It's almost like I hear I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of being the one that always has to pay, that has to, you know, do everything while you just sit around and be lazy and cry. Hang man. Hang man. This guy's thought about it, 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 thought about it. And it's and really sacrificing and wasting time. But now he, I think that somebody has gotten a new perspective. Like I said, it's like they realize they, they, this time of isolation, this time uh, alone or this time away from whatever they were at, maybe their job, whatever, has enlightened them. And they are definitely ready for a change. So be prepared to hear about somebody uh, changing their direction. It's absolutely time. They have become enlightened and they're not happy with the one that they're with. That is what I got. There's definitely going to be a change. And I feel as though there could be a, that first card, the temperance card, could be some sort of reconciliation. Somebody may, you know, they've realized, obviously, the hangman is about realization. It really is. Through isolation. So 
somebody is willing to do whatever it takes to bring peace and harmony into their lives and they've learned a lesson they've changed they've evolved and they learned this lesson because they were dealing with somebody who did not take care of them good luck <laughs>